keeps him so late, John. <coughs> it's almost dark. Now we're planting far out to the forest edge. Oh, you're done, Bun. All right, the farm is seated. The boy's asleep. I will be soon. Yeah, I think we'll see green fields soon. It's warm as blood beneath the clods. Oh, that's well. If the crop is good, I'll buy George Jacob's heifer. How would that please you? Aye, it would. I mean to please you, Elizabeth. I know it, John. On Sunday, let you come with me and we'll walk the farm together. I never see such a load of flowers on the earth. Massachusetts is a beauty in the spring. Aye, it is. I think you're sad again, are you? You come so late, I thought you'd gone to Salem this afternoon. Why, I have no business in Salem. Oh, you did speak of going earlier this I week. I thought better of it since. Mary Warren's there today. Why'd you let her? You heard me forbid her go to Salem anymore. I couldn't stop It her. is a fault. It is a fault, Elizabeth. You're the mistress of the house here, not Mary Warren. She frightened all my strength away. How may that mouse frighten you, Elizabeth? Oh, it you... is a mouse no more. I forbid her go. And she raises up her chin like the daughter of a prince and says to me, I must go to Salem, Goody Proctor. I am an official of the court. Court? What court? Why, it is a proper court they have now. They've sent four judges out of Boston, she says. What? Weighty magistrates of the general court. And at the head sits the deputy governor of the province. Why, she's mad. Oh, I would to God she were. There'll be 14 people in the jail now, she says. For... And they'll be tried, and the court have power to hang them too, she says. Oh, they'd never hang them. The deputy governor promise hanging if they'll not confess, John. The town's gone wild, I think. She speak of Abigail, and I thought she were a saint to hear her. Abigail brings the other girls into the court. Folks are brought before them, and if they scream and howl and fall to the floor, the person's clapped into jail for bewitching them. I think you must go to Salem, John. You must tell them it is a fraud. Aye, it is, it is, surely. Let you go to Ezekiel Cheever. He knows you well. And tell him what Abigail said to you last week in her uncle's house. She said it had not to do with witchcraft, did she? Aye, aye, uh, she did, she did. God forbid you keep that from the court, John. I think they must be told. Aye, they must. They must. It is a wonder they do believe her. I would go to Salem now, John. Let you go tonight. I'll think on it. You cannot keep it, John. I know I cannot keep it. I say I will think on it. Good, then. Let you think on it. I am only wondering how I may prove what she told me, Elizabeth. I, if the girl's a saint now, I think it is not easy to prove she's fraud and the town gone so silly. She told it to me in, in a room alone. I have no proof for it. You were alone. With for a moment alone, I... It's not as you For a me. moment, I say. The others come in soon after. Do as you wish. Woman, I'll not have your suspicion any more. Then let you not earn it. You doubt me yet? John, if it were not Abigail that you must go to hurt, would you falter now? I think not. Now look, you, Elizabeth. I see what I see, John. You will not judge me more, Elizabeth. Let you look to your own improvement before you go to judge your husband any more. I have forgot, Abigail. And I... Spare me. You forget nothing and forgive nothing. Learn, charity woman. Still an everlasting funeral march is round your heart. I cannot speak, but I am doubted. Every movement judged for lies. You are not open with me. You saw her with me. You saw her with a crowd. You said I'll plead you... my honesty no more, Elizabeth. John, I am only... No more! I should have roared you down when first you told me your suspicion, but I wilted it like a Christian. I confessed. Confessed. Some dream I had must have mistaken you for God that day. But you're not. You're not, and let you remember it. Let you look sometimes for the goodness in me and judge me not. I do not judge you. The magistrate sits in your heart that judges you. I never thought you but a good man, John, only somewhat bewildered. Oh, Elizabeth, your justice would freeze beer. How do you go to Salem when I forbid it? Do you mock me? I'll whip you if you I dare leave this Mr. house Proctor. again. Pray, pray not hurt me. My insides are all shuddery. I'm in the proceedings all day, sir. And what are these proceedings here? When will you proceed to keep this house as you are paid nine pound a year to do and my wife not wholly well? I made a gift for you today, Goody Proctor. I had to sit long hours in a chair and pass the time with sewing. Here, this doll. Hi, thank you, Mary. It's a fair puppet. We must all love each other now, Goody Proctor. Oh, indeed, we must. Mary, is it true? There'll be 14 women arrested? No, sir. There'll be 39 now. What? <laughs> She's weeping. Could the husband will hang? Hang? Hang, you say? The deputy governor will permit it? He must, but not Sarah Good. For Sarah Good confessed, you see. Confessed to what? That she 
She sometimes makes a compact with Lucifer what? and wrote her name in his black book I, with her blood and bound herself to Tom and Christians till God's thrown down and we must all worship hellfire for more. But surely you know what a jabberer she is. Did you tell them that? Mr. Proctor, in open court, she knew to choke us all to death. How choke you? She sent her spirit out. Oh, Mary, Mary. She tried to kill me many times, Goody Proctor. Why, I never heard you mention that before. I never knew it before. I never knew anything before. When she come to the court, I say to myself, I must not accuse this woman, for she's sleeping in ditches and so very old and poor. But then, then she sit there, denying and denying, and I feel a misty coldness climbing up my back, and the skin and my skull begin to creep, and I feel a clamp on my neck, and I cannot breathe air, and then, then I hear a voice. A screaming voice, and it was my voice. And all at once, I remembered everything she'd done to me. Why? What did she do to you? So many times, Mr. Proctor. She come to this very door, big and bread and a cup of cider, and mark this, whenever I turned her away empty, she mumbled. Mumbled? She may mumble if she's hungry. But what does she mumble? You must remember, Goody Proctor, last month, a Monday, I think, she walked away, and I thought my Guts would burst for two days after. Do you remember it? Oh, I, I do, I think I And so, so I told that to Judge Hawthorne, and he asks her, Could he ask, Ben, says he, what curse do you mumble that this girl must fall sick after turning you away? And she replies, why, your excellency, no curse at all. I only say my commandments. I hope I may say my commandments, says she. And that's an upright answer. Aye, but then Judge Hawthorne says, recite for us your commandments. And of all the ten, she could not say a single one. She never knew no commandments. And they had her in a flat line. And so condemned her. Why, they must when she condemned herself. But the proof, the proof. I told you the proof. It's hard proof. Hard as rock, the judges said. You will not go to court again, Mary Warren. I must tell you, sir, I will be gone every day now. Uh, I am amazed that you do not see what weighty work we do. What work you do? It's strange work for a Christian girl to hang old women. I am an official of the court. They say... Official? And... The devil's loose in Salem, Mr. Proctor. We must discover Where's where it's hiding. Oh, oh, no. I saved your wife's life today. <gasps> I am accused. Someone mentioned... Who accused me? I'm bound by law. I cannot tell it. I only hope, Mr. Proctor, you'll not be so sarcastical no more. Four judges and the king's deputy sat to dinner with us but an hour ago. I I would have you speak civilly to me from this out. Go to bed. I'll not be ordered to bed no more, Mr. Proctor. I'm 18 and a woman, however single. Oh, do you wish to sit up? Then sit up. I wish to go to bed. Good night, then. Good night. The noose is up. There'll be no noose. Abigail wants me dead. I knew all week it would come to this. They dismissed it. You heard her say... And what of tomorrow? She will cry me out until they no, take no, me. Sit you down. She wants me dead, John, you know. I say sit down. <gasps> now, we must be wise, Elizabeth. Oh, indeed, indeed. Now, fear nothing. I'll find Ezekiel Cheever. I'll tell him Abigail said it were all sport. Oh, John, with so many in the jail, more than Cheever's help is needed now, I think. Would you... Favor me with this. Go to Abigail. What have I to say to Abigail? John, grant me this. You have a faulty understanding of young girls. There is a promise made in any bed. What promise? Spoke or silent, a promise is surely made. And she may dote on it now. I am sure she does. And thinks to kill me then to take my place. It is our dearest hope, John. I know it. There be a thousand names. Why does she call mine? She thinks to take my place, John. She cannot think it. John, have you ever shown her somewhat of contempt? Huh? She cannot pass you in the church, but you will blush. I may blush for my sin. I think she sees another meaning in that blush. And what see you? What see you, Elizabeth? I, I think you'll be somewhat ashamed, for I am there and... She's so close. Oh, when will you know me, woman? Were I stone, I would have cracked for shame this seven month. Then go to her and tell her she's a whore. Whatever promise she may sense, break it, John, break it. Good, then I'll go. 
Oh, how unwillingly. I will curse her harder than the oldest cinder in hell. But pray, begrudge me not my anger. Your anger, I Woman, only ask Woman, am I so base? Do you truly think me base? I never called you base. Then how do you charge me with such a promise? That promise a stallion gives a mare I gave that girl. And why do you anger with me when I bid you break? Because it speaks deceit and I am honest. But I'll plead no more. I see now your spirit twists around the single error of my life and I will never tear it free. You'll tear it free when you come to know that I will be your only wife or no wife at all. She has an arrow in you yet, John Proctor. You know it well. Yes? Good evening. Why, Mr. Hale. Good evening to you, sir. Come in, come in. We do not startle you, good old Proctor. Uh, no, 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 it's only that I, I heard no horse. I hope you're not off to bed yet. Oh, no, no, we're not used to visitors after dark, but you're welcome here. <sighs> Will you drink cider, Mr. Hale? No, it rebels my stomach. I have some further travelling here tonight. I will not keep you long, but I have some business with you. Business of the court? No, no, I come of my own, without the court's authority. Hear me. <clears throat> I know not if you are aware, but your wife's name is mentioned in the court. We know it, sir. Our Mary Warren told us we are entirely amazed. This is a strange time, mister. No man may longer doubt the powers of the dark are gathered in monstrous attack upon this village. There is too much evidence now to deny it. You will agree, sir? I, uh, I have no knowledge in that line. I... I thought, sir, to put some questions as to the Christian character of this house, if you will permit me. Why, we have no fear of questions. Sir. Good, then. In the book of record that Mr. Paris keeps, I note that you were rarely in the church on Sabbath day. My wife was sick this winter. I surely did come when I could, and when I could not, I prayed in this house. Mr. Proctor, your house is not a church. Your theology must tell you that. It does, sir, it does. And it tells me that a minister may pray to God without he have golden candlesticks upon the altar. I think sometimes that man dreams cathedrals, not clapboard meeting houses. Mm -hmm. And yet, mister, a Christian on Sabbath day must be in no, church. You, you have three children. Aye, boys. How comes it that only two are baptized? I... I like it not that Mr. Parrish should lay his hand upon my baby. I see no light of God in that man. I'll not concede I it. I must say it, Mr. Proctor. That is not for you to decide. The man's ordained, therefore the light of God is in him. What's your suspicion, Mr. No, Hale? no, no, I have no I suspicion. I nailed the roof upon the church. I hung the door. Did you? That is a good sign, then. It may be. I have been too quick to bring the man to book, but you cannot think we ever desire the destruction of religion. There is a softness in your record, sir, a softness. I, I think maybe we have been too hard with Mr. Paris. I, I think so. But sure, we never love the devil here. Do you know your commandments, Elizabeth? I I surely do. Had there be no mark of blame upon my life, I am a covenanted Christian woman, Mr. Mm -hmm. Hale. And you, mister? I, I'm sure I do, sir. Let you repeat them, if you will. The commandments? Aye. <clears throat> thou shalt not kill. Aye. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods, nor make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. Thou shalt not have any gods before me. Thou shalt remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Uh, thou shalt honor thy father and mother. Thou shalt not bear false witness. <clears throat> thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. You have said that twice, sir. Aye. Uh, adultery, John. Aye. <laughs> you see, sir, between the two of us, we know them all. <laughs> I think it'd be a small fault. Theology, sir, is a fortress. No crack in a fortress may be accounted small. There'll be no love for Satan in this house, mister. I pray it. I pray it dearly. Well, then I'll bid you good night. Mr. Hale, I do think you are suspecting me somewhat. Goody Proctor, I... I do not judge you. My duty is to add what I may to the godly wisdom of the court. I pray you both good health and good fortune. Good night, sir. I think you must tell him, John. What's that? Will you tell him? I, I... I have not witness and cannot prove it except my word be taken. But I know the children's sickness had not to do with witchcraft. Not to do? Mr. Paris discovered them sporting in the woods. They were startled and took sick. Who told you this? Abigail Williams. Abigail? I... Abigail Williams. 
Holmes told you it had not to do with witchcraft? She told me the day you came, sir. Why did you keep I never us? knew until tonight that the world has gone daft with this nonsense. Nonsense! Mister, I have myself examined Tichaba, Sarah Good, and numerous others that have confessed to dealing with the devil. They have confessed it. And why not? They must hang for denying it. There are them that will swear to anything before they'll hang. Have you never thought of that? I... I have, I have. Indeed. And you, would you testify to this in court? I had not reckoned with going into court. But if I must, I will. Do you falter here? I falter nothing, but I wondered if my story will be credited in such a court. I am no fool, mister. Proctor, let you be open with me now. I have a rumor that troubles me. It's said that you hold no belief that there may even be witches in the world. Is that true, sir? I know not what I have said. I may have said it. I have wondered if there be witches in the world, although I cannot believe they come among us now. Then you do not I have believe. no knowledge of it. The Bible speaks of witches, and I will not I deny them. It. You, and you cannot. Believe. Elizabeth, you bewilder him. I cannot believe the devil may own a woman's soul, Mr. Hale, when she keeps an upright way as I have. I am a good woman. I know it. And if you believe I may do only good work in the world and yet be secretly bound to Satan, then I must tell you, sir, I do not believe it. But, woman, you do believe that there are witches. If you think that I am one, then I say there are none. You surely do not fly against the gospel. The gospel... She believe in the gospel, every word. Question Abigail Williams about the gospel, she not myself. She do not mean to doubt the gospel, sir. You cannot think it. This is a Christian house, sir. A Christian house! God keep you both. Let the third child be quickly baptized. And go you without fail each Sunday into Sabbath prayer. And keep a solemn, quiet way among you. John. Giles. Francis Nurse. What's the matter? They take my wife. And my Rebecca. Rebecca's in the jail? Chief, I can't take her in this wagon. We've only now come from the jail, and they've not even let us in to see them. They've surely gone wild now, Mr. Hale. My wife is the very brick and mortar of the church, Mr. Hale. Oh, and Giles' wife, there cannot be a woman closer yet to God than Martha Conway. How is Rebecca charged, Mr. Nurse? For murder, she's charged. Murder, murder. Yes. For the marvellous and supernatural murder of Goody Putnam's babies. Oh, Lord. What? What am I to do, Mr. Hale? Believe me, Mr. Nurse, if your Rebecca be tainted, then nothing's left to stop the whole green world from burning. Let you rest upon the justice of the court. The court will send her home, I know it. You cannot mean she will be tried in court. Nurse, though our hearts break, we cannot flinch. These are new times, sir. There is a misty plot afoot, so subtle we should be criminal to cling to old respects and ancient friendships. But I have seen too many frightful proofs in the court. The devil is alive in Salem, and we dare not quail to follow wherever the accusing finger points. How may such a woman murder children? Remember, until an hour before the devil fell, God thought him beautiful in heaven. Come in. Good evening to you, Proctor. Why, Mr. Cheever, good evening. Good evening, all. Hey. Well, good evening, Mr. Head. Good evening. I hope you come not on business of the court. I do, Proctor. I, I am clerk of the court now. You know? Now, believe me, Proctor, how heavy be the law, all its tonnage I do carry on my back tonight. I have a warrant for your wife. <gasps> no, John. My wife? Mr. Hale, you said she were not charged. I know nothing of it. When was she charged, Mr. Cheever? I am given 16 warrant tonight, sir, and she is one. Who charged her? Well, Abigail Williams charged her. What <laughs> proof? What Mr. proof? Mr. Proctor, I have little time. The court bid me search your house, but I like not to search your house. So will you hand me any puppets that your wife may keep here? Puppets? I never kept no puppets, not since I were a girl. I spy a puppet on your mantle, Goody Proctor. Oh, that way. Mrs. Mary's. Would you please give it to me? There. Has the court discovered a text in puppets now? Do you keep any others like this in the house? No, nor this one either till tonight. What signifies a puppet? Why, a puppet. A puppet may signify... Now, woman, will you please to come with me? She will not. Fetch Mary Elizabeth. Yes, John. What signifies a puppet, Mr. Well, Cheever? They say it may signify that she... Why, this? This? What's there? 
Why, it is a needle. It is a needle stuck into the doll. And what signifies a needle? Why, this go hard with her, Proctor. This, I, I had my doubts, Proctor. I had my doubts, but here's calamity. You see, Mr. Hale, it is a needle, Why, Williams girl. Williams? Abigail Williams, sir. She sat down to dinner in Reverend Paris's house tonight, and without word nor warning, she falls to the floor like a struck beast, he says, and screamed a scream that a bullet weeped to hear. And he goes to save her, and stuck two inches in the flesh of her belly, he draw a needle out. No. And demanding of her how she come to be so stabbed, she testified it for Goody Proctor's familiar spirit pushed it in. Why, well, she done it herself. I hope you're not taking this for proof, Mr. Hale. It is hard proof. I find here a poppet Goody Proctor keeps. I have found it, sir. And in the belly of the poppet, a needle is stuck. I'd never warranted to see such proof of hell. And I bid you obstruct me not here, for... Here, now. Mary Warren, how did this puppet come into my house? What puppet's that, sir? This puppet, this puppet here. Uh, I think... It is your puppet, is it not? it's mine. And how it did is... it come into the house? Well, I made it in the cut, sir. I give it to Goody Proctor tonight. Mary Warren, a needle have been found inside this puppet. I meant no harm by it, sir. You stuck that needle in yourself. I, I believe I did, sir. I... What say you now, Mr. Hale? Child, you are certain this be your natural memory? May it be, perhaps, that someone conjured you even now to say Conjures this? me? Why, no, sir. I'm entirely myself. I, I think. Let you ask Susanna Walcott. She saw me so and cut. Ask Abby. Abby sat beside me when I made Mary. it. Mary! You charge a cold and cruel murder on Abigail. Murder? I charge... Abigail was stabbed tonight. A needle was found stuck into her belly. She charges me? Aye. Why? The God is murder! She must be ripped out of the world! If her, sir, ripped out of the world, if her... Give me the warrant! Proctor, you dare not touch that warrant. Dare and I! I could. Out with you! You have ripped the deputy governor's warrant, uh, man. Damn the deputy governor! Out of my house! Proctor! Proctor! Get ye gone with them! What a broken minister. Proctor, if she is innocent... If she is innocent! Why do you never wonder if Penn is be innocent or Abigail? Is the accuser always holy now? Were they born this morning as clean as God's fingers? I'll tell you what's walking Salem. Vengeance is walking Salem. We are what we always were in Salem, but now the little crazy children are jangling the keys of the kingdom and common vengeance writes the law. This warrant is vengeance. I'll not give my wife to vengeance. I'll go, John. You will not go. I have nine men outside. You cannot keep her. The law binds me, John. I cannot budge. Will you see her taken, Mr. Hale? Proctor, the court is just... Pontius Pilate! God will not let you wash your hands of this. John, I think I must go with them. Mary, there is bread enough for the morning. You will bake in the afternoon. Help Mr. Proctor as you were his daughter. You owe me that. And much more. John, when the children wake, speak nothing of witchcraft. Of I, I will bring you home. I will bring you soon. Oh, John, bring me soon. I will fall like an ocean on that court. Fear nothing, Elizabeth. I will fear nothing. Tell the children I have gone to visit someone sick. I... Oh, don't chain her. Damn you, man! You will not chain her! Open them! I'll not have it! I will not have a chain! And yet silent, minister. It is a fraud. You know it is a fraud. What keeps you, man, Mr. Proctor? Out of my sight. Charity, Proctor, charity. What I have heard in a favor I will not fear to testify in court. God help me, I cannot judge her guilty or innocent. I know not, only this consider. The world goes mad and it profit nothing. You should lay the cause to the vengeance of a little girl. You are a coward. Though you be ordained in God's own tears, you are a coward now. Proctor, I cannot think God be provoked so grandly by such a petty cause. The jails are packed. Our greatest judges sit in Salem now and hangings promised. Man, we must look to cause proportionate. Was there murder done, perhaps, and never brought to light? Abomination. 
Some secret blasphemy that stinks to heaven. Think on cause, man. And let you believe it there is your only way. When such confusion strikes upon the world, I shall pray God open up our eyes. I never heard no murder done in Salem. Leave me, Francis, leave me. John, tell me, are we lost? Go home now, Giles. We'll speak on it tomorrow. Let you think on it. We'll come early, eh? Aye, aye. Go now, Giles, go. Good night, then. Come, Francis. Likely they let her come home once they're given proper evidence. You're coming to the court with me, Mary. I you will tell it to the court. I cannot judge my You will on tell Abigail. the court how the puppet come here and who stuck the needle oh, in. You kill me for saying that. I will charge lechery on you, Mr. Proctor. She's told you. I've known it, sir. She'll ruin you with it. I know she will. Good. Then her saintliness is done with. We will slide together into our pit. You will tell the court what you know. You will. My wife will never die for us. I will bring your guts into your mouth, but that goodness will not die for me. Make your peace with it. Now hell and heaven grapple on our backs and our old pretense is ripped away. Make your peace. Peace. It is a providence and no great change. We are only what we always were. But naked now. I'm naked. And the wind, God's icy wind, will blow. I can't. I can't. 